Hey guys, Steve Blair. Today we're going to be checking out a game in the Boise for your Norm Scott. We got Makawa, Vian, primarily a survivability build. We got increased concealment, increased incoming dispersion. Boise, what's the difference between this and the other light cruisers in the American line? We got a big heel on this one. So that's the main thing you got to understand if you're going against the Boise. If you get it kind of low, you want to make sure you finish it off. If you leave it alive, it may get some heels off and keep the game going. So here we got a game, Tears of the Desert. We're in the west here. We got Destroyer in the middle, Destroyer in the southeast. Hoping the one in the middle is going to trend towards A. We're going to take an aggressive position here. Uh, but if the Destroyer doesn't come over here at all, we're probably going to get stranded there and get wiped out pretty quickly. So you're kind of rolling the dice, especially if you don't have a built-in Destroyer support over here. But we're going to try it anyways. Why is it a problem if you don't have a Destroyer? Because... Basically, the light cruiser rolls, we're trying to push ships that are coming forward backwards, okay? But if we can't see them coming until they get really close, then we can't do that job. Number one, it's harder to fire over the islands that we're going to be playing near, uh, the closer the targets get. And number two, you know, you just don't have enough time. And if they get close to you, you can't really defend yourself. Of course, you don't have torpedoes to uh, shoot down anyone who's trying to rush you. And armor scheme-wise, you're really just not going to survive concentrated fire so anyway you got to know the risk going into it but here you can see that little cutout right there it looks like it's good to fire over there's a little cutout on the far side that's usually where we're aiming down there that's usually where the fight's going to be along this southern line here and up there but when we see the deployment on the map basically what they're all going to be doing is going kind of in between a and their home cap i think it's b uh, and they're going to be making their way into that a cap from the east and you can see them right there so I'm just going to hold here for just a moment, make sure we don't have any destroyers that maybe we could spot or get some clues about over here. Or perhaps another ship that's pushing over the traditional way. But then once we recognize, okay, it looks like they got a lot of weight going in that kind of central corridor. We got a lot of weight swinging to the west. Well, let's try and see if we can move east here. Try and slow these guys down because, again, basically we want to be firing our guns on reload nonstop. Pushing ships back, making them say, oh man, look at the weather, golden showers, I don't think I care to push forward any further today. That's kind of the role, but, you know, you, we haven't shot anything, it's two and a half minutes in the game. So, kind of disappointing opening there, but you can see what we're trying to do anyway. So, Aoba's pushing forward here, he's actually kind of playing behind the island, so I'm trying to cut off his retreat a little bit. Uh, we do have a Tennessee coming in behind, and another, I think it's a Pensacola as well, so we got to be very careful here. Uh, the American light cruisers start and stop a lot better than the Brits do, so you can be a little more aggressive with your positioning. The Brits, you basically <laughs> tell your ship to stop moving forward, and then a few minutes later, that'll actually happen. You'll start to pull back. These American ones, pretty responsive. Okay, we still could have gotten blasted there had we pulled out a little bit further, been exposed for a little bit longer, but no major problems. So we got a fire on the Aoba. He's down to about 1 or 2k health. Uh, either my fire or someone on the team should be able to finish them off. And then we glance up on the map, we notice they're getting into A. And we do have a couple cruisers here, and there are a couple broadside cruisers, or potentially broadside. So look, we're backing up here, <clears throat> almost 20 knots. These American light cruisers uh, tend to go backwards quite adeptly. So keep that in mind if you're playing against them or playing with them. That's kind of how I got it set up. You got the prop on there, you got the ability to start and stop really quickly and kind of go back and forth and if people start shooting at you you can just pull the opposite direction get back behind cover or if you got a clear shot just kind of pull out and uh, get those guns firing so didn't get a lot of damage there and you can see the pensacola is already low i think someone else finishes them off as well we're not really getting clear shots over those little rocky islands getting a couple thousand here or there but the team finished them off that's great now we're looking at this thing and you got to keep in mind right now we're spotted and if you're checking the map, which you should be every time you see you're spotted, you can see nobody visibly has a line of sight on us. So that means, of course, destroyers over here. We do have the sonar going, just trying to keep an eye on any incoming torpedoes. But under the knowledge that we are being spotted by the destroyer, potentially under attack, and, uh, you know, potentially under attack by these other guys as well, we do pull into the cap. We want to capture the cap. They already got two to one. Actually, they're three to one at the moment, so if we don't flip this one around, we could be in serious trouble. But look what I can tell just here is the Tennessee doesn't have a shot at me. Battleship guns, much flatter arcs. I can just barely zing over here, so we're kind of using that quick zoom-in technique. 
where we zoom in two or three times uh, to kind of get a rough idea of where the game is suggesting, you know, the center of the ship likely is. So when you zoom in rapidly like that, about 25 to 50% of the time, it'll kind of suggest the center of the ship or at least where the center of the ship will be when those shells get there. So if you kind of zoom in a couple times, you can get an idea. That's kind of how one of the tools we use to shoot over these islands. So we're trying to get some pressure on him, make sure he doesn't want to come in here. Uh, we do get A, which is clutch. We're still facing away from this tendency as well, keeping an eye on things. And there, right, right there on the map, we can see the destroyer pop up. Notice it right there. Rather than trying to swing that whole ship around, where all the guns are pointing off the left-hand side of the ship, we just let the back three get over there, and then we begin to change speed and heading. So we were backing up. We're expecting he's probably launching torps at us. Uh, so we just immediately begin going forward, let those other guns that are spinning around the front of the ship catch up, keep firing. We got good support from the team here as well. Got him set on fire, so he's going to have a harder time dropping the spot. And once again, the team combines for a good takedown on the Fubuki. Unfortunately, we're down on ships, but we do have three caps to one. We had one destroyer sneak into their home cap. Kind of a risky play, because you can see now on the map, he's kind of cut off. He can't really get out of there because... Red team kind of has him cut off between himself and the rest of the map, but it's actually, you know, a decent play, and I'm, we're never going to be criticizing destroyers for capping bases around here. I got news for you. So that kind of relieves some of the pressure, but we are down ships, and we're down on score, and they are flipping A as well, the cap that we just worked on. So that's probably the Laga uh, sailing through there. I want to be hitting him with the HE, especially when he's broadside. Going to switch to an AP there just to see, but I'm assuming he's going to turn to the right which he does to disengage. Uh, but we got to get away from the Tennessee that's on our trail there, and you can see those shots coming in. Uh, I'm still thinking while I got shots at the log, I might as well shoot him, but then once we see this Tennessee's really low, we got to get him down because he just shot. His reload's about 30, 35 seconds, somewhere in there. Uh, we got another teammate fighting him, but if he gets one more shot off on us, he could potentially kill us. You never know with these battleships, especially close range when you're giving them a lot of broadside like this. So... I want to stay in pursuit of the the uh, cruiser up north there. We You can see we're still down on ships, and whenever that's the case, we got to keep pressing the uh, pressing the attack unless, you know, the score is so clearly in our favor. But you can see they've gotten another ship here, so we're trying to be as aggressive as we can because we know we got the score, but they are flipping the home cap back, and at any moment, a lot of these guys on my team might be dead. So they've maintained a ship advantage the entire time. We've been doing a pretty good job with the score as best as we can as a team, but it's going to be hard. Uh, you can just see I'm behind A. I'm turning around now. Even though we're still fighting that log, I do need to be repositioning, trying to hopefully cut that destroyer off from B, otherwise pressure the ships to the southeast, who's attacking our home cap now. Uh, so we do get the cruiser, luckily. Next up, I'm thinking, okay, we got to take down the Atlanta, Atlanta V... Boise in a straight-up fight, I'd probably put my money in the Boise. A little heavier shells, a little bit easier to hit. And uh, it just depends, though. I mean, you can get lucky with maybe an AP salvo with the Atlanta. It's certainly going to be a tough fight. But I definitely want to take him down. He's the one primarily attacking the cap. We lost their home cap once again, which was to be expected. Destroyer. At this point in time, I didn't know what Destroyer was until we just finally noticed now that he's on the screen. And there's the Genevi. And we can see we're just going to take the shot. Now, it said it was blocked on the thing whenever that white triangle is on the screen that means the shot's blocked but it takes a second to actually zero in when you're aiming and sometimes it accounts from the center of your ship so sometimes you get the salve off from the front or the back so just go ahead and fire it you got an eight second reload and you can see that first salvo that looked kind of not that s strong was about a 3k and then the follow-up was about uh you know a couple k and then we take them out there so that's key that's going to remove their ability to pressure these caps with ease Unfortunately, uh, they've they've got it up to two. They're about to flip this one. We're going to take this Atlanta down here now. we got a lot more health at this point in time. Our team's kind of whittling the Atlanta down, so definitely not that worried about it. Just going to keep the HD on there, make sure we're getting these nice solid hits. It's only going to take two, maybe three cells at the most, and then we're pulling forward. Got to get this island between us and the war spite. You can see when we're down this close, uh, you got to be very careful, I guess, of the... Moral of the story. Look at the score. First job is to evaluate the score. Okay, we're up, but we're up by less than 100. So that means if the battleship goes down, that's 
whenever a battleship goes down on a team, the other team basically increases their score in their favor by 100 points. So we got to understand that a high health war spite fighting whatever it is on our team. I think it's a Fuso or something, and God knows how he's been doing. Haven't been paying that close attention. But if he kills him, then we're going to be losing the game here. So got to keep that in mind. And also keep in mind what he's doing. He's pressuring D. So I need to be keeping him spotted here or keeping him under guns. Unfortunately, the team's not currently spotting him. And this is kind of, we'll talk a little bit about how to counter these uh, light cruisers as the battleship. Okay, the battleship players, especially the battleship mains, self-described battleship mains, they have two main banes in the life, maybe three now with the carriers, but destroyers, light cruisers, or HE spamming cruisers, and now carriers. So basically everything except for other battleships <laughs> they hate. Uh, but he's kind of doing the right thing here. He's sailing away from us. How does he play this right now? Our ship, our battleship's trying to get in their cap, which is, well, you know, I'm, once again, not going to criticize that strategy. But to get there, he's got to go broadside of this war spite. Luckily, he gives him a big whack there. I guess it was New Mexico. Uh, so he, he kind of won that exchange there, and he's probably going to guarantee the win at this point in time due to that one hit. But just getting back to how this guy should have played it, he should have just sailed away from me, tried to hit our New Mexico on the broadside, and then just keep sailing away. Because then at that point in time, they'd be up in score. He'd be sailing through D and... My position here kind of is a mistake. Until this guy begins turning back in here and uh, just kind of makes the mistake of allowing me to continue to engage him, uh, then this position might have actually cost the game. Why is that? Well, if the battleship does go down, the, our battleship does go down, and this guy's sailing away like I'm suggesting he should be, then I'm going to have a hard time catching up to him because you can see I actually have to turn all the way around and then regain on him and with these high arcing slow shells he could get away from me so he could actually win this game by sinking the battleship and by getting away from me uh, but luckily for us i think the friendly battleship will take him down right there so we didn't wind up <laughs> costing the game with that kind of somewhat negligent positioning at the end but we were just trying to fire from safety you understand anyway that's a look at the boise for you hopefully you did enjoy it if you did please hit the thumbs up new to the channel consider subscribing lots of world of warships coming all the time questions comments leave them below love to hear from you and we'll see you all later peace